So we can do a mail merge in Microsoft Word where we can take names from uh, an Excel spreadsheet, for example, and we can put them into Word to uh, create labels for Classroom, for example, if you have uh, some Avery sticker labels. And this is probably the, the simplest method to actually create a list and quickly get your labels done so that uh, you can print them off as quickly as possible. So basically what I've done is the first step is to open up Microsoft Excel and in the first um, row, the first column here, I just type the name and then what I'm going to do is just type some, in this case, some fake students' names down just as a test here. So I just put 12 in and these are going to be the list that we'll use to do the mail merge. So I'll go ahead and save that and just give it a name that you're going to refer to in a few minutes. So I've already called this one names. And then we're going to open up Microsoft Word and we're going to actually do the mail merge so we can create some labels. So what you do is click on up top here on the mailings tab and then you click start mail merge, click the arrow and see where it says step by step mail merge wizard. So in this case we want to do labels. So over here I'm going to click labels and then we click next. So what we can do is choose our labels here. In this case, I'm just going to go with the Avery JA173 label, but depends on which ones, uh, which labels you purchase, of course. Just change it within here. So I'm going to hit OK. And now I'm going to just click Next here. And what it's asking for us is the recipients. So this is basically our list of students. And I'm going to use an existing list. So I'm going to click Browse. I'm going to go find that names.xlsx file. And it's saying select table. In this case here, it's on just hit OK. It's saying the first row of data contains column headers. And that's just a fancy way of saying that look under name for all the students' names. So I'm going to hit OK. And there's all our students showing us there in the list. I'm going to hit OK. And I'm going to click now down below here, click Next, Arrange Your Labels. And this is where I'm going to hit Address Book. And what this is going to do is um, basically insert the student's name into onto the label just like it is here. So I'm going to hit OK. Now we put put it up at top here. I'm going to just adjust it. So this is how I want basically the students' names to appear on the label. And then I'm going to say update all labels over here. And then I'm going to click next. And there's all our students and all our labels. So the next complete the merge. And everything is done. All our students are in there and I can go ahead and print these onto my label uh, paper and carry on.